Welcome back to Weird Stuff in a Can, and today we've got a real treat for you. Today it is red and eggs. So yeah, red ant eggs. In fact, these are ant pupae. These are from weaver ants, and this is a product of Thailand. So I bought this in Thai Spice in Fairham for five pounds. Five pounds for a can of ant eggs. These had better be pretty good. So quite a delicacy, I understand, in Thailand and Vietnam and other places where these ants live. They're a tree-dwelling ant and they bind leaves together to make huge nests in mango trees. And people tear those nests apart and raid them for the pupae, which is the stage between ant larvae and ant adults. So the ingredients in here are just red ant eggs, 25%, salt water, 75%. So drained weight is, I think, 100 grams out of this rather large can. So this is gonna be quite an adventure, isn't it? Because I've never tried ant eggs before. I have eaten insects before, but usually crispy, and these are not usually eaten fried. So let's open up the can and see what we are dealing with. Oh, just one more thing to say. Kai Mo Deng, I believe, means egg ant red. So let's open it up and have a look at what we've got in here. Now it is a pull tab can, but I am opening it with a can opener because, as I often have to explain, I don't like pull tab cans. I find that they spray the contents of the can onto my shirt. Well, we can see a rather turbid set of contents there. And, well, I can't see any ant eggs at the moment. I did, some did actually swirl up when I took that lid out of there. We'll retrieve some with a spoon in a moment and have a, a look at them in close detail. Let's have a sniff of this can. It smells kind of metallic, actually. So I wonder if I might be smelling the can itself or just the brine. Um, there is a slightly sweetish, maybe coconutty type of scent mixed in there. And there are the ant eggs or ant pupae, and inc including, by the look of it, some kind of um, perhaps hatched out ants. Let's get those onto a, a little bowl so we can have a slightly closer look at them. They kind of look like Rice Krispies, but obviously not. So yes, there are some actual ants in there, which I'm not gonna bother to fish them out. You know, this is all just protein really. So um, those are the ant eggs. Let's have a look at it. That's a rather full looking example. There we go, that's an ant pupa. And it's just like a little blob of protein really. So does it have any smell on its own? Not really. Well, now these are intended to be eaten as part of a meal. So these are a recipe ingredient and people cook them in omelettes and people scatter them over the top of salads and mix them into rice and all sorts of things like that. So we, I'm not intending to eat a whole can of ant eggs on their own just with a spoon. However, I don't think I'd be doing it justice if I didn't just try one as it is straight out of the can like this. So that one is going in my face right now. Let's give it a try. Here we go. Flavour's very mild, yeah, like a little grain of puffed rice or something, but it's got quite a moist texture and like a little salty pop like you get from caviar or lumpfish eggs or the like. So nothing really to dislike there. Flavour really mild, slightly nutty, ever so slightly citrusy maybe. And there they are. So that's ant eggs. So I think the thing to do now is let's head off to the kitchen and I'm gonna make an ant egg omelet. I'm gonna try and do justice to this. I'm gonna try and make a Thai style ant egg omelet. Most recipes I've seen call for spring onions or scallions you might call that, or green onions in the Thai original recipes. I don't have any of that, but I have got chives and they're quite coarse chives actually. So they will substitute very nicely for spring onions. So I'm just gonna chop those up. Okay, and simple omelet. We're just gonna have a couple of eggs. Okay, and we're gonna have our chives in there. And we'll have a good helping of 
these ant eggs. I don't know that I'm going to put them all in there because I think that might be a bit too much. Let's see how that looks. So that looks like about the right amount. I don't know, maybe a bit more. Good, let's get the pan going. Now I think if I was being completely authentic, I would use a wok here, but I'm not too bothered about that. We're just gonna heat up some oil in this non-stick frying pan. Okay, so in we go. So it's not like a French omelette where we would cook this just until it was just souffléed and cooked through. This has got to have a bit of crisp and a bit of toastiness to it. Okay, I'm going to flip that over now. So there we have it, that is ant egg omelette. Let's just have a smell and see if we can detect any different aromas now that it's cooked. Yeah, there's definitely a meaty sort of uh, umami type of aroma coming off of that. And it's not just from the chives and the egg. There's definitely some kind of a proteiny strangeness to it, which is quite exciting. Now I understand that one of the ways to serve this in its uh, authentic context is to serve it with pickled vegetables. So a pickle made from chilies and vegetables and fish sauce. Now I'm just going to use kimchi with this. This is a Korean kimchi, so I'm mixing it up a little bit here, but I feel like that's going to be kind of okay. It's the right kind of flavor profiles, I think, to, to be putting alongside this. I will obviously try it on its own, but I'm going to have a little bit of kimchi with it as well. So there we are. Let's head back to the studio now and give that a taste. So here we are. That is my lunch of ant egg omelette. Let's stop mucking about now and get stuck in and have a taste. So we can see in there, all these little ant eggs. They've stayed fairly moist. Um, well, here goes. Mm. The flavor, just really mild, inoffensive, a little bit proteiny. Yeah, there is something there, a bit of nuttiness, a bit of sort of nutty, earthiness there. Really quite a pleasant flavour actually. Enhances the flavour of the egg I would say. The texture is really strange. I mean obviously you know what an omelette texture is like but every now and again these little ant eggs just pop in your mouth which I guess for some people is probably going to be quite disturbing. It doesn't bother me too much but it is a strange sensation. So on its own pretty good. Let's just try it together with a little bit of kimchi. Yeah, that's pretty good. So there we go, that's weird stuff in a can. Now I should probably at this point just explain that when I say weird stuff in a can, I don't want to be making fun of a food stuff that is obviously very beloved in its native land. I'm not saying this is necessarily weird. It certainly is weird to me. And if I serve this up to most of my friends, I think they would probably find it strange and weird. But that's just to say it's different and something we don't encounter every day. But that is Kaimo Deng, red ant eggs and red ant egg omelette. Weird stuff in a can on Atomic Shrimp. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope to see you again soon. Mm -hmm.